What if I were to tell you that you could have a dollar bill in your wallet right now that was worth thousands? Crazy, right? Crazy part is, it could very well be true. Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And today we're gonna be doing something really weird, really different. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, you can tell that I've gotten pretty interested in this whole collecting money thing. So today we're gonna show you just how easy it is to be able to find dollar bills, single dollar bills that could bring in a lot more than face value. So when you get $1 bill, there's a few things you're gonna wanna look for. I'm gonna go over this first. And then we got pretty good sized stack from the bank, just got them. And then we're gonna see how many of these rare notes we could actually find and see just how much they're actually worth. All right, so the first and most obvious thing you're gonna look for when you're doing this kind of thing is a different color seal. As you can see on a regular dollar bill, they all have a green seal. It's a Federal Reserve note. That's what you see because that's pretty much what all money is right now. But in the past, they have different colored seals, which meant completely different things, and those could have value. I'm putting this first because they're extremely rare to ever see in actual circulation, probably never will, but they're also the most obvious. If you pick this up, you will notice it right off the bat. So instead of the green seal, you could actually have a blue seal on the bill, which means it's not actually a Federal Reserve note, it's a silver certificate, which is basically mean that that bill is backed up by silver. So not just a Federal Reserve note, but it's actually backed up by silver, and they're extremely old. You could also have the red seal on the bill, which means it's technically a United States note, not a Federal Reserve note. And that basically means it's the same thing as a promissory note, not a Federal Reserve note. So they are different, but again, it'll have a red seal, which is very easy to see when you're skimming through your cash. You can also have the yellow seal on the note. Now, I've never came across these myself yet. I have a couple blues, I have a couple reds, never seen the yellow yet. But now, another thing that more and more people are figuring out, myself included as we get into this, is you wanna look out for the star note. Now, every bill is gonna have a serial number on it. That's normal but some of them will have a star at the end of it, which basically means that when they were being printed, that bill was originally printed with some type of error and they had to reprint it and now it has a star at the end of it, which is why it's collectible to some people. Now star notes can range very, very big. Some of them can be worth as little as face value up to like 10% more. So on a buck, you might make a dime, but also take into consideration $100 bills, you can be making $10 at a time. But some of them, depending on the serial number, could be worth a ton more than that, a lot of money. So if you see a star on your bill, it is always, always worth looking up. Now, the best way to do that is to use mycurrencycollection.com. You go right in there and you basically put in your serial number, you select the type of bill and everything it is, and it'll basically give you a chart on how rare that bill actually is. So if you do choose to sell it and not hold on to it, you can have an idea if you're gonna be looking at a good amount of money or a little bit over face value. That's if you decide to sell it. Now, of course, if you hold on to them 50 years down the road, they're gonna be even more older, so you might wanna hold on to them. The last thing we're gonna be looking for in all these $1 bills are web notes. Now, this is something completely new to me. As I said, I'm just getting into this whole currency collecting thing, but as I've been doing research on these, these are worth quite a bit of money too. Now, typically they're not gonna be worth a crap ton. They're gonna be worth like say four to 20 bucks, somewhere in that range. But just like the star notes, there are rare exceptions that are worth a ton of money. So again, if you notice it, definitely take the time to look it up because you could be sitting on a big, big check. Now, the first step in identifying a web note is to look at the date on the bill. They're only printed in three different years. You're gonna have the 1988 A series, the 1993 and 1995. Those are the only three series you'll ever be able to find a web note. And by the way, if you're wondering what a web note is, you know how money is currently printed where you have the giant square of like 32 bills maybe I might be off on that but it's a giant bill a giant paper and then it's cut into bills the web roll is more like a receipt I guess is the best way to put it it was just a bunch of rolls and it was printed out like that so that's what it is if you were wondering the easiest way to tell if you have a web note is not only the date but to look at the back of the bill you'll see a little number usually that number is going to be found under the e on the word one but if it's a web note it'll actually be above the e very small detail but it makes it really easy to pick these out and again these can be worth a ton of money so if you see one make sure you check it out and do some research on the bill now that you know what we're going to be looking for with these bills we're going to go through the giant stack of one dollar bills i have here just got these from the bank so 
No telling what could be in there. This is supposed to be $200. Now they better not have cheated me. It's supposed to be $201 bills. So we're gonna see with 200 bills, how many of these things can we actually find in there? And again, I have gotten star notes and these things back as change. So always take the 10 seconds just to look and see what you got. But without further ado, let's go through all the ones and see what we got. All right, guys, so we got a big fat stack of $1 bills here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to speedily go through them. And every time we find something, we'll slow down and show you what we got and why we're setting it aside. So let's go through these bills. All right, guys, so stopping at this one, not because it's a star, not because it's a seal, but look at that serial number. It has all ones except for two numbers. Now, different weird serial numbers or something else that collectors do look for. So, not 100% sure on the value on that one, but that is a lot of ones. And, I mean, the bill is not in that good a condition anyway. So, it might not be too valuable, but look at poor George Washington's face. Definitely been used and abused. But we'll definitely set that one aside for now. Hey, a star. We finally found one. Jeez, I can't believe we went through that many bills. We have one star bill. Now at the end of this, we'll go on to mycurrencycollection.com and go ahead and punch it in and see if it's a rare one or an extremely common one. But man, we went through almost all of them. We've got one star bill. Only one bill that's even from the 90s. It wasn't a web note year, but still one bill from the 90s, but I didn't even keep it anyway. So let's keep going. I don't think there's no real value in that, but I thought I'd put it out there. 2019, look at that. It starts with 2019, that's kind of cool. And the one just looks a little strange to me. Like, is that a printing error? Look at that one. Why is that one bigger than everything else on there? That's weird. I'm gonna set that aside, because I'm just not sure about that. All right, this one I'll set aside too, because certain collectors like the ones that start with zeros or end with zero so this one ends with three zeros in it so we'll also set that one aside well guys that is literally all the bills and out of 200 we kept four one because of the repeating ones right there one freaking star bill one out of 200 so one star this one i don't really know if, like somebody marked that or it's a printing error or what but look at that one that one is just significantly bigger than everything else it's just kind of strange so i set it aside and this one just because it ends with three zeros i decided to put it aside all right so we looked the star note up on mycurrencycollection.com and unfortunately it is as common as common gets, which probably means it has very little value over face. But anyway, we're not selling these. I'm keeping these now because it's interesting to look for. So it's all good. Not really too worried about the value, but you do look them up. If you get anything more in the red, you got a lot more money. All right, guys. So if you wanted to know how likely you are to find something interesting in $201 bills, there is your answer. Of course, your odds could be a lot better or they could be a lot worse. You never really know. Literally the other day, all we did was get changed from the bank and I got a hundred dollar bill star note. And when we happened to look this one up, it was actually extremely rare. I don't remember which one it was now. We have $200 bills in here with stars on them, but the one I found the other day when we looked it up, it's actually very, very rare. So always look for them because you never, ever, ever, ever know. But again, 200 single dollar bills worth just a buck, which we can just take back to the bank and do it all over again, which is kind of, this is fun. I really do enjoy this.